Hi, George here. I'll be showing you how you can put custom music onto a Minecraft record disc and then play it in that jukebox right back there. Now I'll be using the cat disc, which is easy to find in the game. Disc 13 and disc cat are both real easy. You can find them in woodland mansions and treasure chests, a lot of places like that. You'll come across these fairly regularly. Now there are a bunch of different discs in the game and I have a whole video all about how to find all the different discs in the game and get all those collected. Right now we'll just stick with just the one disc, just the cat, which is that green disc right there. And we'll do this with a custom resource pack. Okay, let's go over to the desktop and I'll show you how to build this. The first thing you need is a place to build your resource pack in. I just have a folder here, I called it pack. And I have my custom pack PNG file right here. If you wanna find out how I made this, I'll put a link for this in the description. Then you also wanna have the music that you'll be replacing your music disc with. And I have one here from the YouTube audio library. It's kind of a fun New Orleans kind of sound to that. Now right now the disc length is limited to about four to four and a half minutes. So keep your song under four minutes and you'll be just fine. Okay, we now need to get a vanilla resource pack for 119.4. So let me bring that up. We'll be getting that through the launcher, which is right here. Go up to installations. We're doing this in 119.4 right here. This actually works in other versions. I'm just using 119.4 for this demo. Click on the folder icon right here. And this brings up the Minecraft folder. You want to come down to versions. It's way down towards the bottom of the list right here. Go inside of versions. And then let's find the 119.4 folder or whichever one that you're currently working in. There's the 119.4. Now ignore anything with all these additional things in front of them. Those are earlier versions. The final version just says 119.4. Okay, let's go inside this. Now in here, you're going to need to see the .jar right here. That's the file name extension. If you just see two files that say 119.4 and nothing after them, and the way you fix that is going up here to view and come down to show and put a check mark right here, file name extensions. This is Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, then go up to the view tab at the top and then over on the right hand side, put a check mark next to file name extensions. Same thing. Okay, as soon as you see that dot jar, we're all set. We can now take this and put this here. Let me get this out of the way. And then take this file and right drag it over here and copy inside of your working folder. Don't move it or you'll mess things up. Just copy it. Okay, we can get this out of the way now. And here we go. Now the .jar file is actually a zip file. So click into the name and you can then type over where it says .jar and change that to say .zip, choose yes. And there we go. We can now get inside this and get the files that we need. Let's right click and I'm going to open in new window. Here we go. Two things I want to show you in here. The first one is in case you don't have your own pack PNG file, this one's just a 128 by 128 square PNG. There it is, that's all it is, easy to make. If you don't have one and you want to use the default vanilla one, you can get that from this list right down here. It's all the way down near the end down here and it's right here, pack PNG. This is the one that is just that dirt block that you see inside of the list of resource packs. So if you wanna use that one, that's right there. Go up to assets and out of assets up here, we want to get the image file for the music disc. So let's go inside here, assets, Minecraft, come down to textures down here. Inside of textures, go into item, which is right here. Inside of item, come down to music disc section. We're gonna be changing the cat disc right here. So just right drag that here and copy. We'll be changing that image there. So I'll just put that right there. Now we also need to have some folders in here. You can see up here at the top, we have assets, Minecraft, textures, and item. We need to have these folders. So go back into the working folder over here, click on new, and folder, the first one there is assets. There we go, go inside of assets, and then a new folder here, which is Minecraft. Go inside of Minecraft, and new folder. And this one is textures. There we go, go inside of textures, and then new folder, and item. And when we finish our image, our new disk image, it's gonna be going inside of this folder. Now we're not done with this stuff yet. Let's go back here to the Minecraft location right here, Minecraft folder. Same thing up here. This is our vanilla pack. Go back to the Minecraft folder. And in here is a lang folder. And normally this is gonna say en underscore us dot json. Again, make sure you see the extension so you can see that. And here's where we change the name of that disk. So it says a different name when it's in the inventory. So all we need to do here is just to take the lang folder, right drag it over here and copy. 
There we go. We're all set for that one. Now, if you're using a different language than English, I have a video on where to find the different language files. They're a little bit tricky, so put the link for that video in the description. You can go ahead then and find that. Okay, let's just get this out of the way. We're now done with this pack. Now, you notice that we didn't do anything here for sound. We need a sound folder, and we also need to have something for our music discs to go into folder in there. So for that, we need to make some new folders. We're still here in this location, Assets and Minecraft. Go back up to the New button here, click on Folder, and the first one is Sounds. There we go. And inside of this one, a new folder here, and Records. There we go. Now, the Sounds folder is not included in the Vanilla Resource Pack, so you have to make this one for this new pack. Okay, we now have everything that we need to begin to customize our pack and images. Let's start off with customizing our image first. Get that out of the way. You might want a face on that one, so I'll just be using this cat face right here that I have. This is just a collection of free download images I found at Pixabay, which is a great site for this kind of thing. But use any picture you want. It'll work out fine. I'm just going to drag this over here and copy that. So I have a picture right there. And I'll put a link for this picture if you want to use this picture in the description. And we'll get rid of this. And now let's use an online photo editor to put these two together. And I like using the free online Pixlr photo editor. I'll put a link for this in the description as well. And over here it says Advanced Photo Editor. Now this is free to use, and you can get up to three downloads a day for free. If you want more downloads a day than that, then either get an additional number of downloads for 75 cents a month, or if you want to go over the whole route and get the whole program, then it's only about five bucks a month. It's an inexpensive program, and it's really great. But we'll use the free version. Notice I'm not even logged in up here. Click on this, and click on Open Image. And I'll start off with the cat picture right here, and choose Open. Now, this picture is way too big to use on the disk. The disks are really small. This is a full-size image. I need to bring this image down to the right size first. We'll be working at 64 by 64 pixels. So let's go up here to Page, come to Smart Resize, and this is, this is really huge. So let's change this to 64, and then it resize the image right down here. If you want to keep things nice and sharp, just uncheck Smoothing, and it'll stay much sharper that way and avoid stretching, and then apply. Makes it a much smaller image, as you can see right down here. Let's just put this to plus. We'll just zoom in on this. Okay, there we go. There's the pixelated cat image, and that's perfect. Now come down here to the Save button right down here. This is also the Download button. I want to save this as a PNG file, and Save As. We'll put it back into the same location. Now, it was a JPEG. I went to PNG, so there's no conflict in there. Choose Save. Get rid of that. That's one of my three daily downloads. We're now done with this one. Let's now go and do our next image. That's File, Open Image. Let's now go over here to the Music Disk. Bring this up and open. Real small. Let's just zoom in on this. There we go. Let's get this up to 64 by 64. So that's Page, Smart Resize. And let's type that in up here. There we go. Same thing. Uncheck Smoothing and check Avoid Stretching keep our hard edges, choose Apply, and here we go. Now we want to put the cat on this. Let me just zoom in a bit on this first, kind of like that. Go over here to our layers, right-hand side, click on that plus sign, and click on Image right here, and then choose your small size picture, which we've resized, and open, bring that in. There's our cat picture. That's the right size for this. I want to have this just fitting inside of that background there. I'm going to uncheck the background, just do that, gets rid of that padlock on it. You can then bring that up on top. And you see here, I want to get rid of the stuff in behind and just have just the cat picture in that same location. And I think the cat's a little bit high. Let's just take a look. Maybe a touch. We'll bring him down just a little bit and over just a little bit. I think that's probably a better spot. That should be okay. Now we're on the background image here. And let's grab the eraser tool, which is right here. Here's our eraser. And set the brush real small. I only want just a couple of pixels in here, maybe a four pixel brush. And I want zero softness, so it's a hard edge brush. And then I can come in and just use this to erase away that image. I'm going to come in and leave just a little bit of that black outline of that top record in here. So you see I'm just kind of overlapping that just a little bit. We'll tweak that a touch once we get this step finished. And this just erase away the part that we don't want to have shown. There we go. Again, using that nice hard edge. And we'll get the area down here and back up over here. And then down to this side. 
and get that all cleaned out. Okay, now let's take that cat picture and drag it up above. And there we go, the cat is now fitting inside of that record. And I think that's good. Let's just go 100%. And then it'll look fine. That will work out inside of our inventory. That's full size right there. Okay, let's go to the Save button. PNG with transparency. That's correct. Choose Save As. And you want to save it on top of this disk here, but not in this location. So click on that. That gives you the name. And then go inside of Assets, inside of Minecraft, inside of Textures, inside of Item and save it right here, choose save, and close it out, and that's two of my three daily downloads. So that's done, we have our new disk finished. Let's go back over to the desktop, work on the next part. Okay, let's now fix what the disk is called inside the game, and for that, let's go into Assets, Minecraft, and over here it says Lang, go into this, we're doing this in the English US, and that's a JSON file, and I edit these things inside of Notepad++, it's a free download, and it's great for working with Minecraft. So I'll open this up in Notepad++, here we go. There's a ton of stuff in here. You can ignore all of that and do a search and find. And you want to do a search for music, find next. We're getting there anyway. This is item music disc fragment. We don't want that one. Let's find next and music disc. Here we go. We're now in the right location. So we can close this down. And you notice we have a couple things going on here. Here is music disc cat and it's saying music disc and then down here it's saying description cat. This is the name that shows when it's playing. So I'll change this one. We're changing this over to catfish boil and then we'll copy that. Just select that right click and copy and we'll place it up here where it says music disc for the music disc cat and right click and paste. So this top one is what is going to be shown in the inventory when you roll over the icon in the inventory. And the bottom one here that says desk for description, this is what shows at the jukebox when you put the disc into the jukebox. Okay, so that's now been renamed and taken care of. Go ahead, we'll save that. All we have left to do now is go back here to the pack folder is to convert this over to the right format to play in the game. Now we know the name of the song, it's cat.ogg. This is an MP3 file. So we'll do two things in here. First, I'm just going to rename this cat. But leave it saying MP3. It has to be converted to OGG and not just renamed. So I'll, I'll rename it cat, and then we'll do the conversion right now. Now, I like using a free download. It's called Audacity. It's a great sound editing program. And again, free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. Let me bring that up, and we'll do our conversion to the OGG file format. If you just type OGG over here, it's not going to work. It has to be converted. And here we go, here's the Audacity program. Now you can just use the file open to find your file, or an easy way to do this is just to take your sound file and just drag it over there into the program. And there we go, it just copies it in. Now there are two things we need to do. The first thing is we need to convert this over to mono instead of stereo. This just solves a glitch that happens if you have your song in stereo. Go up to tracks, come down to mix, and you wanna mix stereo down to mono. There we go, that's all set. We now need to convert this over to the .ogg format, and that's file, come down to export, and export as OGG, and we're still in our same pack folder. So let's go inside of assets, inside of Minecraft, inside of sounds, inside of records, and right here's where you wanna save this, choose save, ignore all that stuff, choose okay, but do that conversion to OGG, and that's now done, we can close this out. Okay, so we're all set now. We can go ahead and build our resource pack. So for that, we need three things. We need our assets folder. We need the pack PNG file, either the default one that I showed you where to find earlier or your own custom one, it's up to you. And we also need a file called the pack MC meta file. Now it used to be included inside of the jar file. It no longer is. So I just put this up on my website. Let me show you where that is. And I have a page right here. I'll put this link in the description. And then here are the different pack formats. We're working with 119.4, which is currently pack format 13. If you're using an earlier version of Minecraft, I have the packs for all the different earlier versions as well, all the way down to 1.6 right down there. So you want the 119.4, just click on this, zip and download this. And we're downloading back into the same location again. Choose save. Okay, that's done. Let's get this out of the way. And here it is. Now we need to extract that file out of here. Any way you want to do that is fine. Notice right click this, open in new window. There we go. Then I'll take this and just drag it like that. And that copies it. And then close the zip file down. Now you're done with the zip file, you can go ahead and just delete this one. 
may want to hang on to the vanilla resource pack in case you want to do more things with that. I'll just leave that in there. And then in here, again, I have this opening up in Notepad++, a great editor. Let's double click on this, bring it up. Here we go. The pack format is 13. That is correct for 119.4 Minecraft. And then up here, I'm just going to change the name on this one. And I'll call it custom cat disk. That's all you have to do here. And that's all set to go. Now, if you want to do more records than just the one, you can change any or all of the records in the game and just go up here and do the same thing. Edit the language file for that new one. Edit your texture for that one. And then put your new records inside the same records folder. So everything just goes into the same locations. It's just repeating the same steps over again. Okay, so let's take our assets folder. I'll hold the control key down. I'll grab that pack PNG and I'll grab that pack MC meta. That's all we need for the resource pack. I'm in Windows 11, so right click and compress to zip file. I'll call it custom record disk. There it is. If you're inside Windows 10, just go up to the share tab and then click on zip. Same thing. Okay, that's all done. Now we need to put this thing into the game and test it out to make sure that it works. So I'll bring the launcher back up again, which is right here. Here's our latest release. We're still in the installations tab. Latest release, click on that folder icon right here. And this time let's go over here to resource packs and that's right there, go inside of that. Here's a resource packs. And then just take this, I'm gonna right drag it over here and copy. And that's now in the game, ready to go. Okay, close this down, close that down. We now play this, just click on the play button. This will then launch Minecraft and it's going to go in and re-examine all of those resource packs. So they're all linked up. We then will have to activate that pack. Let me just maximize our window here. Now I've customized my title screen here. If you want to find out how I did this, I have links for those videos in the description. Come down to options, resource packs, and here's our new custom record disc right here. It's our custom cat disc. Click on that arrow, brings it over here right hand side. Choose done. Let that load in and then done again. And I'll go into the game. I'm in my main world right now. We'll let this load up and we'll test this out in the jukebox and make sure that it works properly. Okay, you can see it in my hand right there already. There's our new disc. You can see it down there in the inventory as well, looking kind of scary, but that's okay. That was my idea there, just kind of a fun, strange look. And you can see it there behind me on the wall right there. Okay, that's working out fine. I see a little bit of a mistake here, a little line right there. I'd have to go back and just erase that out of the image. I think I can fix that, not a big deal. But let's see how it plays. We'll toss it into the jukebox. There we go, playing catfish broil. Take it out again. Toss it back in, you see right there, catfish boil. So the name's been changed. It's playing just fine now. There's that new animation that's part of 119.4 update. Okay, that all worked perfectly. Okay, let's take that out. Let's double check, make sure that the name is correct in the inventory. Let's just scroll off of that and then back on again. There you go, catfish boil. So the name works in the inventory as well. That's all set. Make sure you check out my channel for a whole bunch more Minecraft videos. I have a lot of videos on how to customize Minecraft, including discs and totems, all kinds of neat stuff, textures and everything. And I'll see you next time.